This is going to be the last big adventure of 2019 and the first of 2020. And we're ending it with a bang. We are going to be living out of a van in Hawaii for about six or seven days. The whole van life thing is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And when my family told me they were going to Honolulu for Christmas, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do that. It was also perfect because Stasia has been begging me to go to Hawaii for forever now. <laughs> yeah, I've been begging to go to Hawaii forever. So when Justin said he was going, I thought I'm going to crash your vacation. I'm coming. We looked up a company called Hawaii Surf Campers Online and we booked ourselves a 1977 Volkswagen Westfalia in sky blue called Cloud9. We've wanted to do this for a really long time. So we found a great company, we got a really cute van, and we are stoked. And it will be our home for the next six days as we putt around the island and explore as much of Oahu as we can. And driving this van is a real driving experience. There's no power brakes, there's no power steering, the speedometer kind of sputters around so you don't really know how fast you're going. It has some little quirks and things that overall just make it a really fun driving experience. It's really fun to drive actually, but it feels like you're driving a bus. It's like beep beep, everyone on, let's get on the magic school bus and rip around the island. It's fun. It's a little tough though. <laughs> there are a few things that we have planned while we're on the island, but most of it is just going to be flying by the seat of our pants and winging it. And because of that, I'm sure there'll be some unknowns like weather and the fact that we have no idea where we're going to park this thing in the evenings. But then there also will be some planned things and also some surprises that I haven't told Stasia about that are going to be amazing. All in all, I think this is going to be an amazing way to end 2019 and start 2020. What is up guys? We're gonna start off episode number one with a quick little bit, quick little hand tour. We're gonna start episode number one with a quick little van tour. Welcome to our 1977 Volkswagen van. And we're gonna start off with, let's go inside. Let's check out the inside of this thing. It's not really too fancy, but we have our stove here that has running water. Cool. Uh, you can also do a little bit of cooking on the burners up there. We got a little seat where we kind of eat dinner do all of our like card playing and all that stuff. There's a little storage room in the back. And then this whole roof, which is cool, kind of pops up. We'll take these off the clips. And then we literally raise the roof. Ooh. Yeah, and that pops up. Ooh. And that pops up and gives you a whole bit of head space. Apparently someone can sleep up here if you have a family of four. You can have like the kids sleep up here. Adults will sleep down here and we'll show you how the bed kind of goes down and does that. Because I live out of a suitcase, I literally have all of my belongings with me. But like I said, luckily we have a little room upstairs. We can shove all of that. I never get this on the first try. Ah. We pull up and out. Ta-da! Ta-da! Let's get some more light back there. And you can sleep cozy. Comfy. Yeah, so I'm about 5'8", and my toes kind of just hit the edge. So if you're any taller than 5'8", your feet are going to be sticking out. We can open up this back window here, and that'll give you some more some more breathing room. But yeah, for someone my size and Stasia's size, side by side, nice and cozy. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And they have little blankets and all that stuff. So that is the bed, and then let's give you a quick little look at the, the driving up here. When we come up to the driver's quarter, we have the big wheel here, and like in driving school, they always tell you like, hands, 10 and two, and I feel like no one drives like that anymore because most cars have like power steering and it's very like, easy to drive, but I get it with a vehicle like this because when you turn this thing, you have to crank it over and you have to have almost your hands at the 10 and two. So it's just a real fun driving experience. Got the shifter, old school brake, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is where we're gonna be for the next six, Six days, seven days? Five nights. Five nights. Next five nights, this is our camper van. 
There's a little bit of rust, a little bit of rough around the edges, but that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it a real cool like van experience. And she old. Yeah, she's old. 1977. This thing is pretty cool, and I'm super excited. So that's your van tour. That's where we're gonna end episode one. If you want to see all the adventures and stuff we get into on uh, the island of Oahu, it's gonna be super fun. So many cool things coming up. But that's it. The show's over. The vlog is done. I will see you guys in episode number two. Ew, the first night was awful. If we stay at the place we stayed last night, it could ruin our experience here. This is the most scared I'll ever. You'll never see me as. Yes. Yeah. Let's go! Freaking do it. Alright, there's shark. Yeah, there's one. Are you yeah, I'm freaking excited to go to Hawaii. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Hawaii. Look at the camera. He's gonna make me do it a hundred times. <laughs> <sighs> what is up, guys? We're gonna start off episode number one with a quick little. I don't know.